very warm welcome everyone, I hope you are well. Thank you for joining me once again. My name is Nick and this game is Volfide on the Commodore 64, published by Empire Software in 1991. Uh, it's based on the arcade cabinet from Taito in 1989. Uh, it's a game we've also reviewed on the Amiga and the, uh, the Mega Drive. Um, but also come out the Atari ST and DOS as well, the PC, sort of like uh, systems. It takes influences from the arcade game Quix, QIX, in 1981, where you need to reclaim areas. Aliens have attacked you, and you need to reclaim the area by drawing lines gradually, like this. There we go, so we caught a percentage back without bumping into any of the enemies. Oh, look, unlike that, and they killing you. Now, I think we need to get about 80% of the area. Uh, whenever we do a square like that, uh, we claim uh, another bit. So we're on 5.7 at the moment. Looks like our shield's on a certain level there as well. Uh, yes, that go down each time. So if you want to be a bit greedy, uh, you can go for big areas or you can go for little small areas uh, each time. There's the, whoops, there's the occasional power-up. And those squares uh, contain power-ups if you ring those. But... Um, they sometimes get in the way. Now, sometimes a good idea is to make thin uh, blocks to divide the screen into two, and that's a good way of claiming most of the screen straight away. If you catch any of the enemies in an area that gets filled in, uh, that takes them out, not to dinner. Right, there we go, that's what I'm trying to do. And it takes a smaller area there, so we're up to 58.7%. Our lives are in the bottom right-hand side, so we've got about three left. So it's all about going gradual. Uh, I don't think there's any time limit on this, so we just keep going. This is round one. Have a look at the Commodore Amiga views and the uh, the Mega Drive reviews as well to see the difference. Now, on the Commodore 64 version, it plays pretty much the same, but the colours are a little bit dull. It makes it a little bit hard to see stuff, but you still can, so it's uh, less bright on that. Uh, could have done with some music, I think, but that doesn't seem to be happening uh, here. So get your tactics and go where you want. Uh, not expert gameplay, dodgy gameplay, nincompoop chat, and seeing how you would have got on on the first or second go. So it's quite relaxed here, if you haven't been to the channel before, it's all about beating stress. Uh, there we go. Right, can I get off level one? Now already I fear this will be quite a long video if I'm quite successful, but never mind. We aim the views to be about ten minutes long, if they're longer, well, you know. Who cares? Uh, the YouTube algorithm can take it. If you want to watch the whole video, then thank you very much. It's me just talking complete and utter rubbish. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so far. If you've seen this far into the video, it helps the channel grow. And I got my 80%, and that's them all blown up. So it's on to level two. Yes, thank you for people that have subscribed, in particular the, the members there keeping the channel running. Uh, if you want to see when live videos go up, hit the bell notification. Or you could follow me on Twitter, or X, Jenkins7Nick, uh, uh, or the uh, Facebook page now that's coming a bit more active, we, where we put links up, and sometimes a few other bits and pieces uh, to the games that are going up. Right, okay, well, we've gone up. So, it's a little bit blue, it's even harder to see this time. There's an enemy shooting at me, so don't get hit there. Uh, when, when you're doing your line, you're super vulnerable. And you don't want to be super vulnerable, do you? No, not really. Well, here we go. Good stuff. If you want to see other Commodore 64 games we've reviewed, that's going to work. Good. If you want to see other Commodore 64 games we reviewed, there's a link to the playlist with them all in, in the description below. Or if you want to see everything, uh, then uh, click on my username. It takes to the channel page, and that's got the links to the, the Twitter page and the Facebook page as well, and a few other bits and pieces, and the coffee or the Ko-Fi, if you want to have a look at that. But uh, click on the playlist tab, though, and you'll see Commodore 64 along with a list of other stuff. Yay, reviewed, well, quite a lot of stuff now. We're not going to run out ever, because that's the nature of the beast. Um, you know, here we go. Still lots and lots of Commodore 64 stuff to review. Uh, if you're familiar with the channel, you'll know that I owned a ZX Spectrum 48K, but I was never in the camp of arguing in the playground what computer was the best. Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC, or another one. I just enjoyed the games. But there we go. Good bib, and that's game over. Well, anyway, as a first go for a newbie, that was quite kind. These reviews, as we know, is all about seeing how you got on your first or second go. And would have been enough there if you want to go and play it again. Now, there's not much to the game, so it's easy to understand, but it's addictive, and I would have gone back quite a lot. If I had all the versions, I probably would have played the Mega Drive version, but the Mega's not too bad either. So the storyline, which isn't very important, uh, you're, you're a space pilot for the planet Volfide, and you get back and aliens have taken over large areas of your planet and you've got to claim them back 
by basically putting this uh, electrifying ring fence everywhere. Boof. So you know what to do straight away, and it's all about doing it really. Get your tactics and get to 80%. Uh, right. So the best strategy really is to try and get little bits and divide the screen up so the enemy can't attack you. And I'm just I'm just claiming the corners and odd bits and pieces. But um, the thing that would kill you in this game is trying to get two big blocks straight away or trying to be a hero. We don't need another hero. Yes, anyway, sing your own song below there. Yes, if you are currently a space pilot returned from patrol somewhere in deep space and your planet has been overtaken by aliens and you need to get the area back by flying around with a big electrified picket fence, then comment in the comment section below. Right, okay. Uh, uh, yes. Um... Hmm. Right, so we got to level 2 last time, didn't we? Hopefully I'll show you a bit more. I don't know what C does. Uh, there might be a way of doing these power-ups. If you've got any tips, then comment in the comment section below. Don't be shy. Uh, comment... <laughs> what have I just done there? Comments uh, make the, I believe, make the channel seem uh, active. And who knows how the YouTube algorithm uh, works, but... Lots of comments there, I suppose, goes well. Uh, views can be fake, so it probably is not fooled by those. Right, okay. There's a little inlet. I'll get them trapped in there. No, I've set up a little trap there, and that's got him. Kabiff, what are we on? 51.7%. God, small percentages. So, you know, I haven't done this very well, so I've got the enemy in a smaller space now, so I've made it tricky for myself. But I think they're getting gradually smaller anyway. That's giving me half a chance. Right, what was that? That got me another two percent. Oh, still, I still need a sizable amount, don't I? Right, fifty-nine. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Well, they're all buzzing around. Yeah, a quick, quick. Who was the first? Uh, Qix was the first game. Um, uh, this also by um, Taito as well. This is more advanced. It might as well be called uh, Quicks Two, however you pronounce it. Right, 64.6, this is painful for me. I really want to do a big jump, but uh, we'll do it uh, in little itty, itty, itty bits. Oh, boof. I do like a good, I do like a good puzzle game, and I, you know, I would be playing this for absolutely ages, really. It's not, it's not like a manic shooter, it's not like a, like a sports game, you're getting goals all over the place, and you know, there's no frills and spills in here. It's just, it's just, it's just a, no, oh, it's, it's not, it's a thinking game, but it doesn't compare with like things like chess, does it really? But there we go. The only thing, the only thing I don't like a great deal, but I suppose you would have got used to it. Like the static spectrum colours were super bright. It was garish now if you look at them. But if you had this computer back in the day, you would have got used to the colour scheme. Um, it's, it doesn't pop that much, but it's, it's kinder on the eyes if you're going to look at the screen for a long length of time. So you have the Commodore 64. Uh, back there, you probably got better eyesight than the, than the ZX Spectrum person. Maybe I might have just made that up. There might be no, the no, uh, you know, sustenance to that uh, that claim. But anyway, maybe uh, we did scare, t stare at the screens for quite some time, didn't we? Really? Right, oh, come on, 76.7, 78. So I need another two percent from somewhere. Another two percent. Come on, come on, baby. Let's rock this world. Right, one point eight needed. Oh god. Well that's a good one. Point nine we need. That must be point nine. Oh we need point five. Surely. Yay, eighty point one. Goodbye, stage one. So long. The aliens are blown up in that era. Your percentage is eighty percent. Doesn't matter if you get higher than eighty percent, as long as you get over the eighty percent required. Well, at least for the first few stages, I think, as far as I can make out. Right now, now we go blue. This is where I got stuck last time. Biff, the the, uh, the squares, the parrots, they don't stay there very long. Right, so if I can divide the screen into two, we could be winning. But uh, just just claim bits, just claim bits, really. I mean, I didn't do the last stage very good tactics. I was lucky to get away with that. I would have liked the bits you filled in to be a bit different colour to the background. On, on the Amiga and the Mega Drive versions, it's like revealed a picture. Uh, this is the... The bit you're filling in is the same colour as the actual background itself. So you, you, can, you can make it out, but it, it could be a bit more distinct, really. Right, this is a, this is a good this is a good start. Right, I've got to try and set up a trap. That that big boxy thing, that's a big chunk of stuff. 31.3. Right, keep an eye on it. We need to get to 80%. Didn't do it last time. Right, okay. Uh, I think this is more promising than before. I've got four lives left. You can see on the bottom right-hand side. I'm just make a mad dash for it up there at some point 
That'd be quite good. Uh, just take little bits. Little bits. Yep. 39.2. Are you excited? Oh, that was close. Cool. I just about got away with that. Yeah. You can see if you, you just get little uh, areas to go to. Yes. Yes, that is huge. 71 for us. I only need, I only need uh, 8.7 now. Getting close. So just keep, just keep taking little bits. I would have liked to have destroyed that main enemy, really. I'd like to have circled him in, but never mind. Only need 4%, surely. Just keep just keep taking little bits. Just keep taking little bits. That's done it. No, 79.8. How annoying. Yep. Yay. Stage 2 done this time on my second go. So I'm gradually learning. I'm gradually learning. This isn't, this isn't a walkthrough, by the way, if you've clicked in the middle of the video. Uh, for a newbie noob, I think goes after a few goes on this, your your time on it will well hours will just disappear completely. Now this stage is blue as well. I was hoping for a different colour, but the enemy's different. It's some strange metallic wasp face thing. If you are a strange metallic wasp face thing, then comment in the comment section below. It's like gas mask as well going around this time. Not much fight all those stuff firing at me, and that's when I become vulnerable. Could I do three stages, or is that just pushing it maybe a bit too much? So you've pretty much seen how the whole game runs really, it's just different screens and different enemies each time, it's roughly going to do the same thing each time. Um, you know, I might, uh, I don't want the review to go on forever, so I might have to start being a bit cavalier at some point. Oh look, I hit a freeze thing power up and I've certainly, yes, perfect, I did a power up there, well, I don't know what it was, but it helped me out. I think uh, it looks like as soon as you circle the main enemy, um, there it looks like you've won, but the, the pausing one's perfect. Get a pausing one, you're there. Now it's gone a bit green and brown, and there's a big hand there. I seem to remember it from that from other versions I played. Okay, right. No, yeah, good, in it? It's all about seeing, as a kid, it's all about seeing what enemies come next, and what colour the screen is. I, I mean, I'm glad they got the brown in this, because the green on its own might have been a bit, bit uh, tricky to live with. It's like a lime green, isn't it? Yeah, so, you know, we'll see if we can circle the hand, if we can or do, but that's when uh, that's when you're taking more risks to get somewhere. Um, if you've completed this game, then let me know in the comment section below. That was a bit cheeky, but I got away with it. Right, okay, can we do this? Come on, Nikki. Here we go. Oh, Ooh, that was a bomb there. I thought that was like maybe I can pick up, but I can't. Right, 52.2. I'm getting the hang of this game now. I'm getting the hang of the, the way the, the enemies move and stuff. Boo -boo 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 -boo. Wouldn't mind them freezing, that'd be good. Right. Uh, 59.7. I mean, I've got too many enemies on the screen here. I've made it tough on myself. 200 points for that. So I only need another 17%. So a sneaky one. A sneaky one, that's going to be a sizable chunk. 11.5 needed and going down just 10 percent uh, but i'm taking i'm getting smaller and smaller squares because basically all the enemies are on here if i do this bit i'll be absolutely flabbergoosted flabbergoosted uh well mind you i only need another what seven or six yes right, just slowly slowly does it oh how did i get away with that yes 1.4 1.4 that's going to be all right. I only need 0.5, the smallest of squares now, and I've done it. That'll be it. Hooray! So long, big metallic hand thing of doom. You're dead. Round four is clear. Congratulations. I'm available for voiceover work. Voiceover work. Yay. Should we Should we leave it there? No, that's, 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 uh, there's a big dung beetle here, and you know the rules. When there's a big dung beetle, you can't leave the game. Right. Uh, the colour scheme on this one works a bit better because the dung beetle thing is a different colour to the background but still the stuff you're filling in is grey. I think this would have scored, I keep away from the review so I'm not influenced at all, but just like the other version I I think this would have gone gone down really well I think, um, you know, it's a, it's a nice little game, you know what you're getting. It was a full price game rather than a budget. Um, yeah, it might have worked better as, as budget, I'm not sure what the sales were but yeah, it's, it's good, I can't fault the thing. Good stuff, well... I can't fault the thing apart from the, um, the area you're completing. 
uh, is the same colour as the actual background itself. But you, you can make it out, can't you? It's not overly bad. And the colour's a little bit mottled, but that's the system itself. Right, good. I, I, I'm getting good at this thing. 63.8 already. This dung beetle isn't proving much problems. Oh, yes. Look at the skill on that. Kabiff. He made short work of him. Nick does it again. Round five cleared. Congratulations. Woohoo. Now, I think I'm going to deliberately have to be very cavalier here, or the review's going to go on for so, so, so. Let's just try and get... Let's just try and get big chunks. Let's just, just risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. No. Oh, God, see, don't be, don't be cavalier normally. If you're not doing a review, don't be cavalier. Right, Vauxhall cavalier. No. Right, one life left. One life left. Good. That's three power-ups. What's that going to do? Um, three, ugh, that was stupid. So I got a bit stupid. I got a bit stupid at the end there, but I, you know, a very addictive game that you can be playing for hours and hours and hours. Highly recommend this and everything I've played it on. Uh, good stuff. So hope you like to have a look at that game. Well worth playing. It's Volfide, published by Empire Software in 1991, and based on the arcade game from Taito in '89. And uh, influenced by the original game Quicks, also by Taito in 1981. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. You're more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, if you are currently a space pilot, returned from patrol somewhere in deep space, and your planet has been overtaken by aliens, and you need to get the area back by flying around with a big electrified picket fence, then comment in the comment section below.